Hi, it's Kim, and today we're going to look at a little plant that I bought just a couple of days ago at the Meadowview um, Growers. My daughter and I went on a trip. I want to try to get it as close to get as much detail as possible. It's just a tiny little pot, and the plant itself is only about six inches high right now. But it's a peperomia, and it's a peperomia axillaris. And you can see the tiny little leaves of it are kind of shaped like a taco. At least that's what they look to me. And when I looked it up, it does give one of its names as a taco plant. Now it grows um, from a central stem that you can see branches off here and there. And I hope I'm getting that pretty focused. And it grows a little bit like the uh, string of pearls. And the, where the pearl is split down one side, which makes a little translucent window. So this little taco has that little same translucent window. I hope it's focusing well enough that you can see that. And this is the um, single color. And there is a variegated one that I saw on the internet when I looked it up. And I think that the variegated is gorgeous. But I have learned that this little plant likes a tight pot. And this isn't a real, real t uh, tight pot at the present time. Let me see if I can pull it out real easy for you. You can see there's, you know, the roots aren't real tight in there yet. So I am not going to repot it. I'm going to keep it in this tiny little plant pot that I have it in right now. And I'll just stick it in a little um, sleeve. But I really think it's a cute plant. Now it does say it doesn't behave like most succulents. It wants a little bit moister soil. Um, you should let it dry out, but be sure you water it before it stays too dry. And it can take some humidity. So I'm considering putting it into a um, terrarium type situation. I've got one that I do have to plant. But I think it's very cute. It will only grow to be about 8 to 10 inches tall. But it's described as a bushy little shrub type plant. And I would not seen it before. But since I'm really loving my peperomias, adding another to the collection just seems smart to me. So this is what I'm going to do with this one. Now the little pot that I have chosen to put it in is one that you may have seen before in some of my videos. The little apple basket. And it looks like it'll just fit right down in there. And I'll just have to be careful how I water it to let it drain through because this one itself was a drain pot. has a hole in it. But I think it would look cute sitting up on the shelf like that. But I really like the plant. Let me pull the blue away so I can get the full pot. I think it really looks cute. I'm anxious to see, to see how it will behave. It said it's good as an indoor plant because it can uh, survive on medium light does well under grow lights. So I'm planning on putting it down here and it will propagate easily. And I will probably pull off some leaves. There were a couple that dropped already. I'll show you those. There's the two little leaves that have already come off. I think they have dried enough. They've laid there the last two days. Now they may or may not root, but I'm certainly gonna try. 
So I will put those in some uh, propagation soil right away. But I think this little plant is really cute. I'm loving the look of it. I love the little taco style that it has. Let's see if I can get it back in here. And you can see that little window. If you look down on your string of pearls, if you have that, I'm sure you can see the little, sort of like a dark split in the side of the pearl, which has that little window, a leaf window that lets the sunlight in so that it can perform its photosynthesis. But I'm anxious to get this one over under my shelving and see how it performs. So thanks for joining me today and I will be on the lookout for the variegated form of this and see if I can add that to my collection. But I really love my little taco plant, the Peperomia axillaris. Thanks for watching. See you next video. Bye-bye.